Howdy from the bottom of the Grand Canyon. I'm James Hagedorn from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. With a bunch of colleagues here, I've just hiked in to a very unusual sedimentary deposit that you can see laid out on the wall behind me here. In this deposit, which is over 500 million years old, are huge blocks of other rocks that are angular and seemingly suspended in sand. Look at this one behind me here. That's the size of a minivan. Holy guacamole. So these blocks are laid out on top of one another in a pile of angular fragments known as a debris flow or kind of like an underwater avalanche. And you can see where huge boulder sized class like this one behind here sunk down with some incredible force squishing up the underlying muds and sands. And what's interesting is that these clasts are from the rocks that are way up high over there on the other side of the valley. And the question is, what processes caused these rocks to tumble down from those ancient sea cliffs millions of years ago? Was it an earthquake? Was it an avalanche? Or was it just waves bashing into the coast of an ancient rocky shoreline?